Hey guys, it's Bethany. I am pumped to bring you a Project Pan kind of intro video. This is going to be my Project 10 Pan with all MAC makeup. I do have a finishing spray um, that I'm counting as like my 11th item, but for the most part I have all makeup and a lot of this is going to be really tough to do. I definitely have quite a task on my hand with the products that I picked out. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started. The first product is this MAC Fix Plus. I just ordered a couple of the new scented Fix Pluses so I'm super excited about those and I figured I probably should finish this up before I dive into those ones. So I will make a line where this is at. It's probably about, I want to say a little less than a half empty, maybe like a third empty. So there is the line of it. I will use this before my foundation as a really nice step to kind of help keep my skin moisturized because I do have really dry skin. Sometimes I will use it like to wet my brush for either my foundation or eyeshadow. It's a really great kind of mixing medium as well as a finishing spray and just kind of a nice like throughout the day kind of, you know, revive spray as well. So really like this product. I think it's great. So I have that to finish and that's going to be kind of my 11 kind of bonus item. Getting to the actual makeup products, first I have this palette which is super old school. This is definitely at least, oh my goodness, seven, I want to say seven years old, maybe even longer than that. Um, this was a holiday. It's the Intriguing Scarlet Warm Eyes Palette and I really, really think this is gorgeous. I've had this for so long and I want to try to hit pan on at least two of the eyeshadows. I'm counting this as one product, but it would be great if I could hit pan on at least two eyeshadows, maybe even three. I think this shadow right here and these two matte ones would be really great additions for my project uh, pan that palette because I don't have any matte shades in that Urban Decay palette. I have a bronzer. I was looking through my MAC products and trying to figure out which would be the most realistic powder wise to use up and I have like a bunch of blushes, a bunch of highlighters and then I have a few bronzers but I've recently bought quite a few other bronzers and I think because of the summer I really have been liking to just kind of bronze up my face so I thought that this might be something that would be fun just because you can use it every day and it's not as um, you know easy to get sick of whereas a blush and I've had quite a few blushes in my project pans are sometimes a little you know kind of you want to vibe it up you want to either have a pinky blush or a peachy one or a purple one and so bronzers I think a little bit easier to wear every day. This is actually one of the newer ones that I've gotten. It's the Aphrodite's Shell, the Extra Dimension Bronzer and we'll see. It's basically, it's been used probably about 10 times but still there's a ton of product in there. I've never hit pan on like a bronzer or blush or highlighter from MAC so this should be quite a task. We'll see if I can do it. I don't know. These are kind of going to be really hard so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I have two lip glosses because these just tend to be the easiest for me. Um, I will mark where this I think is. This is the Dazzle Glass in Baby Sparks. Uh, definitely a beautiful just kind of light pinky color. Lip glosses tend to be one of the easiest products for me to use up because I can just put them on all the time. I've had that one for a little bit. This I've had for a long time, probably like four years. I don't even know if it's probably still good to use, but whatever. I don't even know if I've even used it once. Um, I got it because of the color and um, it smells still fine. It, it doesn't seem to have gone bad at all, but it's basically brand new, so I want to use this up. I think it will be a nice one to kind of lay over a bunch of different lipsticks. Next, I have the MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil. I love this. I think it is such a nice kind of color match, and it's so thin, so it's really easy and precise to kind of fill in your brows. Um, this is going to be hard to kind of tell how much I have left. It's basically just, you know when I'm done because I don't know if it's one of those ones I don't think yeah it doesn't retract so I don't want to pull it all the way up to see how much is left in there so this I tend to use a little bit more to kind of fill in the tops of my brows where they're really sparse at the very um, middle because I hardly have any hair there so this tends to be really the best way to do that for my brows again I always am playing around with bright brows they're kind of my you know, what is that, the Achilles heel of my makeup routine. I have a lip liner here. This is the MAC Lip Liner in Subculture. I picked this up the other day to use, and it tends, I don't know, I kind of feel like it's 
drying out a little bit. It's not creamy hardly at all. You kind of have to work on it. It's a really nice kind of everyday neutral. So I really like that. It's just a little dry. So I want to make sure and use it up before it like dries up completely. And I still have quite a bit left in there. So I'm going to put this in my purse to use, try to use every day. I have two of these MAC Power Chrome Eye Pencils. And I was kind of, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these. They're really nice, but they were crazy expensive. I think I remember them being like 20 bucks. I don't even know. I don't know. They were in a collection and I had an impulse buy. I had a problem. <laughs> so this is Rich Glance. I think that's what it says. And this will be beautiful. It can be a really great highlighter. If you can see it there, it'll be a really great base. It'll be a really great just shadow all over the lid. Um, it's very creamy and I want to make sure and use it before it dries up. So I'm going to use that one. This one will be a little bit tougher for me to use up. It is in the Polished Jet and it's a gorgeous kind of steel gray. Um, gray black. It's really pretty and I think that it would be nice to kind of smoke out and then maybe put one of my Urban Decay eyeshadows over top. If there are anything like the NYX uh, Jumbo Sticks, there's going to be a ton of product in there so that might be quite a feat. I don't know. Um, and then next is my Painterly Paint Pot. I love this and it looks almost brand new but it is beginning to kind of dry around the edges so I want to make sure and use this. I have another one in Groundwork as well which I kind of probably will use in combination of this but I'm gonna track this one as um, my goal hitting pan is probably gonna be more likely than using up the entire thing in the project pan or maybe try to use like half of it completely I haven't decided how intense I'm gonna try to get with this just because there's a ton of product in there as well but if I use it every day I should be okay another <laughs> this is gonna be a really hard project pan I am I am definitely up the, for the challenge though. This is the Casual Color Lip and Cheek Color. I got four of these when this was a whole collection a couple years ago and I really like them but there is so much product in there and it's a little bit sticky for a blush. It's definitely doable. I really like them as blushes but they're a little bit more sticky so they're harder to kind of play with. They're very pigmented for lip colors as well so you only need a tiny bit. I've already been using this probably for a week and a half and it doesn't even look like I've even hardly touched it. So my kind of goal for this color, did I already say it's in the color relaxation? I don't know if I did or not. I want to try to finish a fourth of this. So I will go ahead and kind of do a little mark in here because I will use kind of a lip liner, not a lip liner, a lip brush when I use this product. So I will kind of just carve out like a fourth of the section so that I kind of know where to kind of concentrate. And my goal is to use a fourth of it because there's a ton in here. So that is going to be my project 10 pan plus a bonus 11th item. Let me know if you're doing a project 10 pan, if you want to do a kind of brand project 10 pan, definitely um, kind of join in. This is really fun to kind of pick one brand and try to use 10 products out of it. You could pick like Maybelline or Revlon or uh, Makeup Forever, Makeup Geek, all kinds of fun brands that you can kind of pick up and kind of decide what you want to do. Even I think would be fun uh, like a Lush one because that has the back to Lush kind of thing. That would be really cool too if you want to do kind of some body products or if you want to join in with a MAC kind of project pan that would be really fun too and then we can go ahead and do some shopping afterwards with your back to Mac products so definitely push the like button if you guys enjoyed this uh, project pan again let me know if you're doing one and I will see you in one of my next videos bye